Well, boys, what a great start. Goals going in. We're top of the league. What more could you want? Well, it would be a little bit nicer if Conte wasn't being such a... Conte. Hmm. Let's go! Hey guys, how we doing? FM Dale here and welcome to the iBar experience. If you are new, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications and try and grow the channel with people. Let people know about the wonders that is the iBar experience. If you're not new, still like, still like, still share. You can do all of that wonderful stuff as we head in to today's episode. Today we have the big games against Malaga and Real Sporting. It's two big games. We're going to hope to win them both. We'll fill you in on what's happened, though, why you've been gone. And it's that time. You know it. We know it. We love it. Come on, Kelly. So you left us on the Tenerife game. Game after that was a 3-1 win against Castel. Goals from Kike, who got two in this game. And Esposito got his first goal for us. It was fantastic. We loved it. Everyone was having a great time, but what was next? A rather boring nil-nil with Elche. Again, very good defensive play. Areo there with a 7-4. Tijero, uh, again, playing very well. Exposito as well. All playing well. We just couldn't find a goal. Next. But we got back to winning ways away at Almira in the next game. What you'll see is the very first goal from Puig, who was playing just behind the striker in this one. Fair play to us. Again, we controlled the game when you look at the stats. We deserve to score more than one. I know it says one in this game, but we were better than that. But we'll take it. We'll take it. And what was the only other game that you've missed? It was this game against Ijea. 6-0. We smashed them. We were fantastic. Top to bottom. Got to say they are possibly the worst team I've ever played on this game. As you can see, we absolutely annihilated them. Should have scored 2.3. We got 6. Three of those came from Kike, who got a hat-trick. The second hat-trick he's got this season. There were two goals from Hannibal playing just behind the striker for the first time. 9.5. What a rating. And as you can see on 14 minutes, here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Dale! Dale! Dale scores and we want some more Ibar. That's uh, it changes whatever the club is. But Owen Dale came in and he absolutely secured a win for us with his first goal at Ibar, which puts us in position very nicely for today's games. As I said in the introduction, Conte at Inter Milan has been a little bit of a you know what you know what I'm trying to say with Esposito. As you can see, Esposito for us has played three times, three starts, two off the bench. He's been playing. We've loved him. Complete forward here, pressing forward. All of these are things that he plays for us. We like pressing forward at our club. Oh no, not Conte. He's come in complaining that he's not playing the attacking forward role. Advanced forward role. Whatever. Dale, get it right. Get it right. One job, mate. Just get it right. You can even re... No, I'm not re-recording. I'm, I'm going with my errors. That's right. And um, I'm not happy about it. I'm going to play him as it is. But the difficulty is I don't want to lose him halfway through the season. What do you think we should do? Do we play him in the attacking forward role? Advanced forward? Seriously, seriously, do we do that or do we just continue the way we're playing? You let me know down in the comments as we get into the games today. So here are the teams for today's game against Malaga. We are going with Joel in goal, Tejero, Arreo, Yakim, and Garcia at the back with Exposito and Puig in the midfield slots. This is something I'm not really sure about. Probably shouldn't have messed with it today. Probably should have kept Sergio Alvarez in there, but I wanted to play Puig and Hannibal in the same team. Pedro Leon, the captain, is on the right-hand side. Hannibal in front of him and Kike on the left. We're going with Esposito up front and we're playing him as the advanced forward. So I've given in. I've given in, basically. But we'll see how he performs. On the bench, of course, Guadal, Gribbin, Heinrich, Alvarez, big ass. Love it. Still love it to this day. Let's see what we can do. What have they got at Malaga? Well, they got Preto. They've got Oscar Gil, who's one of the best defenders in this league. They've got Jesus Jimenez, who's a, an expensive player. They've got some good players. Obviously, they do. They're sitting in a very good position. So, hopefully, we can still grind out a victory. And here are the teams here at the Apura Stadium. We love it. Kick off. First attack is for Malaga. They've got the ball. Throwing it in on the right-hand side with Ishmael, who is taking on 
the left back and he's actually beaten him very easily. And in fact, the left back twice has made a mistake in this situation. Uh, Fran Garcia there as Edgar takes it back. Should be. And oh, he's deflected in. Is he offside? Have we got lucky here? Have we got very lucky? Because he could have been offside. There was a, um, a chance that he was just ahead of our defender when it comes off him. Or does it come off our player? I'm not sure. The goal is being checked by VAR right now. So let's see. As it comes back, the decision goal disallowed. Come on, boys. Come on, we're still in it. Sorry for my hair today. Didn't do it. Cold sore as well. It's, it's not a good day. Not a good day. We're back. And Arreo plays it into Exposito. And then back to Arreo. He goes out far right to Tejero, who has uh, recently said he's happy to stay at the club, even though we had a few issues with him trying to figure him out to do that. No, now he says he is happy to remain at the club as he plays right back for us. We can't get the ball in twice, but Exposito has it. Plays into Puig. What a strong midfield we have. We have a very good midfield for this league, I believe. But we've got to do a bit more going forward right now with Pedro Leon. Can I, no one's crossing it into the man we need. KK scores! It's got to be! Is he offside? It's gone very quiet. It's gone very quiet with VAR in. With VAR in. But what for? What are we VAR in for here, boys? I, I felt it was going to be VAR. I don't know why. I don't, I'm not even sure what we're VAR in. But we're going to goal check. Chances are it won't be allowed. Isn't that what VAR does? Ruins football for every single person involved. As we watch the referee tell us it's disallowed for some reason. that no one's sure. Goal disallowed. Handles it. He's handled it. Oh, we've got a corner. We've got a corner. Leon throws it in. God, oh, inevitably. What? Corners. Corners. You know what I'm saying. I need a haircut really badly here. I don't even know quite how to live with it. It's gone long and we're not done enough with it. As Oscar Giel has it at the back. He goes long and... We should, we should get this, but you don't want to, you don't want to preempt it there, Dio. As Yoel has it in goal for us, as he moves forward, looking for a pass, plays it. What a boot! What a boot! That is an Esposito. He's beating his man. He's one on one. He's got it. He's got him. You know he's scoring when he's in that position. Oh boys, that's what we needed. Second goal of the season. Yoel made the goal with a fantastic long clearance, but. It's a bit like Edison here. This is an Edison clearance done on purpose. Smashes it long. It's basically, it's come down with snow on it. And Esposito, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's not missing those. It's 1-0 Ibar. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We've made it to half time. It's 1-0 at half time. We need to keep this going. Uh, it's been quite a dull game, but we, we just need to keep this going. I don't mind a dull game if we come away with a win. God, uh, I'm going to tell you right now that I demotivated all of the players with my halftime tea talk. So... This is going to be a tough second half. Well, I've got to figure out how to make him happy again. Uh, we've, we've got a chance, though. We've got a chance. Tijero starts it. Gives it to Hannibal, who plays it back to Esposito. A second goal now would really help me out for such a bad team talk. And uh, Tijero back in. Oh, Pedro Leon was not good enough to finish it. The boys are fuming with me. And it's, it's kind of bringing out a little bit better in them. And Pedro plays it to Hannibal. Is he offside? Oh, I don't know. He can't score anyway. As it is cleared. A couple of changes. Obviously, Cal Cal's coming on. And uh, we're bringing on Alvarez as well to come into that midfield. Just to shore us up a little bit. He can play a bit more defensive um, than we can. And is it going to be enough though? Because they are coming forward, playing it long. And no, Frank Garcia takes it. Puts us back in control as Kike has it on the left-hand side. This could be the end of his game, to be honest. Him or Pedro probably going to come off our own day. To Gerard, place it inside. It's missed. It's in. It's in. It's in. Ninth goal of the season for Kike, who's on absolute fire. An absolute baller in this league. We're 2 0 up against Malaga. I wasn't expecting this. I don't know if you guys were, but oh my good golly. What a game. To Gerard playing it in there to Pedro Leon. The deflection comes back to Kike. Yes. Yes. Come on. I really wasn't sure about that, guys. I really wasn't sure. And we've come away with a 2 0 win. Again, look at the defence. This is what I'm building this team on is our defence. Yoel, 7 4, 7 3, Fran, 7 5. Um, Joaquin Arejo is just absolutely outrageously good for us. Getting a 7-6. Tejo, 7-3. Esposito scoring the goal. Kike getting another to nine of the season. Oh, yes, boys. That throws us back to the top of the league. We've got another game to go. But this is what we're talking about. These are the performances we need. We're at home. We beat Malaga. Difficult teams we play this season, and, and they'll be one of the toughest, but it's that Girona game. When we play that, oh my gosh. So here we are for the second game of the episode, and it's another one of the Opora Stadium. It's at home to Sporting Gijon. Yes, indeed. In goal, we've got Joel Tejero, Aguejo, uh, Joaquin, Joaquim, sorry, Ran Garcia, Exposito Puig. The only change uh, to the last game is that Owen Dell comes in on the right. Why? Because he's Owen Dale, of course he's coming in. Hannibal is in normal position. Kike on the left, Esposito up front. Uh, on the bench we have Pedro Leon, Gribbin, Enrique, 
uh, Alvarez, Big Ass, Atienza, and Magun Gutiocho. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm really good with the names. Kick off, we're into the game, and hopefully we can come away with a victory here against Real Sporting. Oh, man. Here we go, though, and it's them who's actually kicking it off. Oh, no. That's not what we wanted. That's not how we wanted to start the game. It's a pen. Penalty to Sporting. Um, and we're going to VAR because why not? Uh, it's definitely a pen. I knew it was going to be one. And um, we're going to have to come from behind in this game because saving penalties is not a thing I've ever really seen. There we go. Of course, it's in the back of the net. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, little cotton socks. Anything can happen. And I still believe in the boys. Uh, we've just gone behind to a Pedro Diaz goal from the penalty spot. Just, you know, very good penalty to be fair to him. Top bins, beautiful, beautiful pen. So we're not going to hold that against him. Just need to switch on. Ah, it's them again as they come forward. They played it over the top of the defence. We've not done anything with it. And Antonio, good shield in there from Oreo, but it's gone back. They're still in ball. Oh, good save, y'all. But this is not how we wanted to start the game. We've not started well. Y'all's played it long. Can we get something from this? We just need some possession. I'd like a highlight on our favour. Would be absolutely wonderful. As Kike has it on this left-hand side. Beats his man beautifully. He's got Fran on the right. I'm oh, sorry, on his left here. As he plays it back to Puig. Space for Hannibal. We know he can score. As it goes across to Exposito. He can score. Straight away, we're back into the game with their, with their goal kick. It's going long. And this is a, this is a proper end-to-end -end game right now, which... Would be nice if we could get a goal. So we're, we're in a position of, of, you know, equality. Equality. As we go long, it's not. Look, that's not a good ball. That's just not a good ball from Tejo. As he takes it back, goes long again. We have one star. It's long. Is he offside? It's offside. Oh, great finish. But it is offside. Oh, can we VAR? Did they VAR that and check that he was? No, he's offside. So. But they are checking it. Why not? God, I hate VAR. Yeah, of course it was offside. And we're going straight away again. All the highlights. We might as well be watching the whole game here. As Sergio Glares plays it back to his goalkeeper, Marino, who we were all hoping would just let that roll in and give us a little bit of an opportunity there. As Rayo heads it back to the goalkeeper. Very calm. Very calm. Loved that. As Joel plays it over to the left-hand side where Kike's on it. He goes long to the right-hand side where it's Owen Dale. And you know when he's on the ball, anything can happen. As he bursts down the line, plays it back to Torreo. Torreo goes past his man. He's got Dale there as well. Dale into Puig. Oh, God, should score. Should score. At least do better. As it's cleared. And Otono is going past. Oh, my. Never going to get past. Torreo. Back again. So many highlights in this game. As Tijero has it, plays it forward to Dale, who's again, I think he's been decent on this on this game, but uh, we need to to do something with it. As he takes it into the centre of the park, he's got to be looking at the pass. He is looking at the pass. It's to Kike, who beats his man. It's a chance. It's oh, tenth of the season for Kike. What is th this boy is on such such good form that we, I, no one was expecting this. No one was expecting this. 31 years of age, playing on the left wing. That's his 10th goal of the season as Dale plays it into him. An assist for Dale. And Kike smashes it home. 1-1. One, one. Let's keep this up. Let's keep that positivity. Smash the like button. Do it. We've got a chance just before our time. The ball comes in. Esposito. It's it. It's a goal. It's a goal. Esposito. He's come from Interan. He's scored for us. Brilliant. I need to work on that one. If anyone, write in the comments uh, how you think that song should go. But Esposito. He scores a goal for Ibarri. No, we need a new one. But we, you write it down there. So, and we've got another one just before half time. Can we get another goal from it? As Fran Garcia has it down on his left-hand side. Plays it into Hannibal. Hannibal looks into Dale. Dale, you know it. We know this one. Dale. Dale, Dale scores and we want some more. Eyebar, what? Yes. People doubted uh, when when me, Gribbs and, and Dale went for a wonderful beverage in Spain and we ended up being here at Eyebar. People doubted our abilities. Well, they should never doubt the ability of Owen Dale. What a header on the back post there. 3-1. Kick off for the second half. And we're 3-1 up after going 1-0 down. It was a big worry in first half, but we have turned it around. Can we keep it going? Well, they've got the first highlight of the second half as it's thrown into Cesar Tunno. Is he offside? Come on, VAR. Help me now. It doesn't look like it. Ugh, they've scored straight away, practically. Um, not good enough defending. I think we can all agree with that. And that's something we haven't been saying this season. We've been very, very good defensively. Um, yeah, not even close to offside. It's Cesar heads out. But brilliant header over the goalkeeper. You well, to be honest, should be claiming that. But oh, I tell you what, boys, I feel like we've snuck that one. I feel like we have absolutely snuck that one in the bag. But we'll take it. We will take it. Another win. 
Three, two. That's the most important thing. We're on a great, great run at the moment. Esposito having a very good game. Dale having a great game as well. And more yellows around the place. Let's hope the injury to Kike isn't too bad. And as you can see from this game, we are 22 points. Eight games, 22 points. We are playing very, very well. Girona have not played their game yet, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but when you look at like Cadiz, we are already a massive eight points ahead of them. We need to keep going. We're doing well. Very good start. We need to keep going. Remember, hit the like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff as well. And let's see when we're coming back. So we're going to come back for the Girona game. Of course we are. They are the ones who are absolutely flying. We're at home to Girona on the 6th of November. So that's the important one. And the second game in that episode will be the one against Real Zaragoza. Who we all know from way back when playing Arsenal. Is that not all we know about Real Zaragoza? So we're coming back for those two games. Hopefully by then we'll have had four games to have absolutely smashed this league. And hopefully we'll be in another winning run. Four wins in a row. If we can win them all until that Girona game, then it'll be a beauty. It'll be a beauty anyway. So remember to hit the bell button, knowing that you will get this uh, next episode as soon as it comes out. Apart from that, thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you very soon. Toodle pip.